Welcome to Truna. This is going to be a quick introduction and a demo uh, along with the, the introduction to show you what Truna can do for you. So the more, biggest question that everybody's asked me is what is Truna and how can Truna help me on a daily basis? So Truna is basically a multiple product combined fee, uh, product, you know. So if you are looking for converting a spreadsheet to a database, to now you can use to now for that. If you're looking for a database as a service where you want to create a database, and remember this is without programming, so you can actually use this as a database along with the reporting engine, which is also comes as part of it to create your you know queries and then share it with your users. users. It can be a form builder where you create a registration form or an event registration form and collect that information. Now, the difference is all this data that you collect goes directly into your database. You can do use to now as a survey tool and the survey information again goes directly as a database and then you can crunch those data or find out what your customers are looking for. You can have them, you know, give ratings or select multiple options. So you can figure out exactly what you need to do as next step for your customers. It's also a full web based web application builder whereby you can create all the above as well as you can start your concepts that you're working as a startup or if you are looking to create a database application for your company, you can do that. And let's quickly look at what are the different use cases uh, for this product. So some of the use cases are you can have an employee database with pictures and driver's license uh, or their resumes all in one database. You can create an employee payroll. You can do asset tracker where you track all the assets of your company or individual into the system. You create your own database that you want to capture. You can do that. You can have a clean and nice sales workflow which is connected directly to contact us. So all the users that are coming to your website can fill in their information and that information can flow directly to salespeople so that making they can make calls out. Event registration as I already talked about, inventory management, payment receive. So let's do the demo. So let's start with the first item. How to do Excel to form. So let me log into my system and I'd log into to now as a demo user. Uh, you see a list of forms that I've already imported but for the demo purposes, let's go to create new form. So I click create new form. Uh, there are different ways of creating new forms, but let's talk about those later. Let's go with Excel. I'm going to open the file that I'm using for let's pick this up. I process the form. Once I process the form, the file is imported and you see the listing form. So that's how easy it is to actually import an Excel form and convert it into a database. Next, we're going to see the basic searching. So as you can see, there is a sorting already built in. So each column has a sort, so you can click the sort directly. There is a global search. So if I want to do searching, all I have to do is start typing. And as soon as I do the typing, it will look in all the columns because this is a global search, it will find anywhere that the pattern is matched and give you that record. If I want to use the column level filtering, I can actually do, let's say five here. It filters for the five. I go to the next field and I say AIN and it actually gets me the right. And I can keep going to all the fields that I want and do this. So that's the basic uh, searching that's available in this. Next, we're going to talk about how to, how to customize the listing screen. So I'm back to the listing screen. So let me right mouse click on it. When I right mouse click, I get the option to move left, move right. So let me move this to right and voila, you know, the column has moved to the right. So there are a lot more other options that you can do in terms of customizing. You can remove the column. You can add an existing column that you have removed and or you can add a new column uh, you can change the column properties as well so let me go ahead and change the I right mouse click on it click the column properties 
and that's I can see that the column property let me see. let me click the column properties and the pop up appears so next we'll talk about the simplicity of changing the data type as you see city is, when they import it it actually is a short answer I can click on it I can change this to a drop down now and just by doing that change we basically go through the entire database find all the unique values that are there and convert the column into a drop down I'm going to add a sample you know drop down tab off it's save update the column and it's updated and then when I want to look at that record I just go to double click it I go into the edit screen and now this field is a drop down and if I click the drop down I can see sample I can select that and due to the auto save being present on all screens it automatically saves the data so no data is lost just because the user has forgotten to hit the submit button now let's go back and look at what is the next so editing and customization so I just showed you how easy it is to edit now this screen also was auto generated you know based on the data file that you uploaded you can now customize it by clicking the edit design so I click on edit design I'm going to move the city up move it here and when I go back to edit the changes has already incorporated remember this you know form your share to all the users and any change that the admin would do would automatically reflect to every user uh, and see that same change next point let's see let's create an employee form from a template so I'm going to switch back go to the dashboard I'm going to create a new form this time I'm going to use the template uh, to create a new form so I'm going to click the template and here let me look for employee information I'm going to choose employee information as the database of choice process it I already have one so I'm just going to say yes to overwrite uh, the form and it's going to complete it and I have my database created and I see that there are a few columns that's already added to the screen next let's take a look at it what is the next step so let's add rating and image data type so I'm going to right mouse click on city add a new column I'm going to say let's score this user select rating and this time instead of star let's just use a smiley and save this so now the score is added I'm going to add one more column and add a new column and call it a user photo change the data type to image save it so now that I've added this I'm going to say add a new column I'm going to say this is Chetan Amin. I'm going to give Chetan four. Oh no, let's give him five. Let's browse. I can click on it, see the detailed view of it, close it, go back to my listing. Now on the listing, you'll see that this the record has been added. The score is visible as well as my picture click on my pictures to see the details so that's how easy it is to actually add uh, you know create some surveys or even have photo details or anything that you want to capture let's look at share link to users so I'm going to go ahead and show you additional features here now there's a lot of additional features there's activity logging so you can capture every activity that a user does at a cell level and you can schedule alerts when a new entry is added or you can capture you know documents at a row level so I just showed you uh, how to create a field but instead of that you can actually capture multiple photographs or documents at a row level by just enabling this and adding a comment also to it enable public access when I copy this link I can go 
I can email this to every user and when I do that, those users can actually enter their record, do the same entry that I did, but they only have access to one record that they can enter. They can do this multiple times, but they can give the score as well or upload a picture as well. So you can have registration forms done in the similar way. You can also let me open new tab window and I'm going to open trunow.com So on this we have a contact us page at the bottom. This contact us page was actually created in Trunow by in copying this copy embedded I am able to put that as part of my landing page and any user actually filling up the request demo is automatically going into my database instead of it being sent as an email and then I have to copy it into a spreadsheet and then email it to somebody. So I don't have to do that with this facility. I can easily do that. So let's go back to our presentation. Okay, next, let me show you how to share with other users with granular permission. So our system is actually designed to not only share with other users, but be able to do that at a granular level, which means when you add a user, you can provide the email address and invite them and if you make them a normal user you can actually control what they can see along with making that person only view only you can control whether they can add do changes or delete any records reports can be restricted to the user export also can be you know enabled or disabled because if you don't want somebody to be able to copy your records and use it for somebody else you can prevent export as well and or you can add a user which whose job is nothing else but to run reports and that's all the access that person will have so their permissions are quite controlled and restricted finally let's just take a look at the reports how the reports can be created so i'm going to go to the reports module click on reports create a new one so i'm going to create a new report test once i do this there are three sections that open up R report columns add and or criteria now this report module is similar to having a sql query builder but without the complexity of knowing how to write a sql and here i am just going to select uh, first name and last name and I'm going to say give me a filter of the first name in the AND criteria. Let's me select contains C and run the report. So I'm easily able to create a sub column report, you know, with the exact record that I'm looking for. And by doing that, you know, I can now export these records to a, you know, a PDF or whatever and send it to somebody else if I need to do that as well. And that's about it that I'm going to cover in our uh, current presentation. Uh, hope you like the presentation. Thank you for watching. And you can register for free on trunar.com and test it uh, for 30 days. Thank you very much.